What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Modo WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to create pop-ups into your WordPress website for free. For this video we're gonna be using the Pop-ups Builder WordPress plugin once this plugin is one of the most hated and used WordPress plugins in the WP.org. As you can find by the plugin developers, it has a lot of options but it's, it's still easy to use because you can enable your own page builder or using the WordPress Gutenberg page builder to design the layout of the pop-up. And this makes it easier for you because you can enable the page builder that you are familiar with. First of all, we're gonna be installing this plugin into WordPress dashboard plugins at new. In the search field, we're gonna type pop-ups and we're gonna be installed this second one, the pop-up builder. Responsive, WordPress pop-up, subscription and newsletter. Yes, this plugin has a newsletter option as well. As soon as you click on install, you can click on activate as the installation is finished. And we're gonna notice it in the sidebar of buttons in the left side of our screen in your WordPress dashboard next to media, a new button called Pop-Up Builder. Click on it. You can find a notification area where you can hit the plugin, go to the support portal, go to the support forum, the live chat or email for support. Click on add new. Now you're gonna be able to add a new pop-up. Of course, there's extensions that is only present in the premium version, but with the ones that you already have for free, you can do tons of things. The extension is just to make the process a little bit easier, but let's start with the Facebook. And once again, once you have access to the page builder layout, to the design builder, you can simply copy the, the short code of any other services. Let's start adding a title. Now for Facebook, I'm going to be adding an image. Let me select an image from the media library, one that, have, that represents the Facebook. You could use the Facebook logo, for example. But I'm gonna be using this image to make it simple and faster. Now, the Facebook options. You're gonna add the URL, the Facebook page link. Go to your Facebook page, copy the entire page link and post there. Now, pay attention to the pop-up design rules. Where you want to display this pop-up. I'm gonna be displaying this only on the home page. So a selected page is or is not a selected page is home page. Only gonna display the pop-up on our home. In the case that you want to display in more page, you can click on the add button and add it in more pages. Now you can scroll down to the design options where you can edit the design template of your pop-up. Let's publish it and refresh the home page so we can see. As you can see, we now have a pop-up with the image just we just uploaded and the buttons to our Facebook page, the like and the share. Simple, fast and easy. You can design a new template, changing the colors or even select some red templates. Every single one has a news according to the layout that you are using. For example, this one with the dark mode. Even the close X button is editable using this plugin. That's why it's one of the most used pop-up builders. Have tons of options, even for free. Let's change the color a little bit. You can change the opacity in the case that you want.
as you can see, there's condition options that you can unlock by using the premium version of this plugin, but no needs for it for now, you can start using for free and only use the premium in the case that you really enjoy this plugin. Now, let's check. The close button, you can upload a custom button to be the close icon. You can edit the responsive mode, the sizes. I do not recommend it from beginners users, just in the case that you have some more experience and want to play around. You can even upload and input or JS or CSS codes in the case that you want. But we're gonna start it simple. Now, as you can see, you can enable or disable the pop-up. I'm gonna be deleting so I can create a new one, just to keep it organized. And now we're gonna create a new one for the subscription. It's gonna be a subscription form as a pop-up. This is the live preview of the default template. As I told, you can add content using your page builder, your favorite page builder. And you can design every single part of this into the subscription options panel, the field. Colors, paddings, names, contents, enable a GDPR notice, redirect to a specific URL. But once again, we're gonna be looking at the display rules, the pop-up display rules. Once again, I want to display it only on our home page. Let's publish. And this is what we have. Simple, fast and easy. Of course, you can upload an image in the top to design, to make the design a little better. Let me input my own info. Now, if you go to the newsletter, you can find it directly into your WordPress website. You can write and send a special newsletter to your users. Here, into the all subscribers, you can see a list of the people that subscribe it using your pop-up directly on your WordPress dashboard, or even export this to mailing services like your MailChimp, for example, or SendBlue, or Constant Contact any service that you like. If you go to the image, you can upload only an image and if you try HTML, you can you are free to use your imagination and create everything you want by using page builders, for example. Let me pick some image. This one is a little small, I'm gonna select a new one. This mobile one but it could be, for example, a promotion image, like a discount coupon showing the code, or some special event notes, for example. I'm gonna add a title. And for this, as you can see in the display rules, I did select to display this pop-up in all the posts. So if anyone open a blog post, it's gonna open this pop-up. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question, and don't forget to check out the visualmodel.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes. And I see you later. All the best!